Hi Eagle Artists and welcome back to art. Today we are continuing our unit about fantasy drawings for fantasy books. I have been enjoying seeing your sketches so far. Make sure you have already turned in your five fantasy drawing sketches from the last assignment. Your new assignment is about analyzing the design of fantasy book covers because we're getting ready to design book covers for your own fantasy stories that you're making in writing. This slide explains the directions for this assignment. You'll need to look closely at the book covers in the next slides. First, you will look from the perspective of the author. What elements on the book cover are important to the story? For example, does it show a main character? Does it give a hint about the plot or problem in the story? Does it show an important setting? What other details are included that are important for the author? Next, you'll look at the cover design. Analyze it visually as an artist. What artistic choices did the illustrator make to help make the cover design interesting and clear? You will have a word bank of art words to help with this. Notice that the directions say you can choose five of the following slides to do this for. Let's do one together now as an example. All right, so let's say you chose this one. The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. So first question, what do I notice? What choices did the illustrator make related to the story? Here I'm going to use uh, literature words. Like for example, I'm noticing here that it shows a castle and mountains and kind of a forest. So I could include in there that I notice um, the setting includes um, like a magical castle okay um, I notice main characters probably and probably a villain like this I don't I haven't read this story and so maybe and some other important characters as well, including the bad guy, the villain. Okay. Um, what else? Um, let's see. On the border here, we have like more people, but I'm not sure who they are, and I'm thinking they're probably not the main characters. As far as the story. Maybe I see that there are a lot of different characters in this story. Okay, so maybe I could write, um, or I could write that I see that animals are important in the story. Okay, uh, so those are my observations for the story. And now I'm going to look as an artist. So this might be a little bit more challenging since um, you guys have been already reading and thinking from the author perspective already. But from the artist perspective, let's look here at this word bank. And let's try to find at least two of these art elements or principles that we can find in the book cover. Okay. So, for example, size or proportions, perspective, color contrast, color scheme, style, font. So many aspects that the illustrator could have considered as an artist. Uh, here, I can see in the setting, in the background, I can see this one, perspective. Because I see the size um, of the path getting bigger to smaller going into the distance. So I could talk here about seeing perspective in there. Um, I can definitely see uh, like an emphasis 
where these two characters are in the middle and they're brighter and they're really fun because they're falling and bigger, especially compared to these characters on the side. So these characters are, are visually an emphasis in the center. Mm, there's also a frame. This frame is pretty cool. That's a choice from the design, from the artist. And there's also like a really cool font that looks really fantasy style. So they chose um, the font here to match the story. Maybe I could include how there are details like this little spinning wheel and fancy dresses and all of those choices that they made in the design. So here I'm going to write some of my observations, what I noticed as an artist. So I notice there is perspective uh, with a setting going into the distance. It's that artwork perspective. And let's see. I noticed a frame. which it looks interesting and unique with more characters inside. Also, the font matches the fantasy style. So now I used three words from my word bank here. And I want to say as well about how these characters pop out, um, like with contrast, like they're very bright colors and then the color of the background is very soft. So maybe here I can say that the illustrator made an emphasis on the falling characters. by making them big and brighter colors. So that is really cool what they did there. So I'm gonna make this a little smaller so I can read. Okay, yes, the illustrator made an emphasis on the falling characters by making them big, bigger and brighter colors. So here I already had one. Two, three, and four words from the word bank. And that is more than enough. So this is complete the first slide here. All right, so this is just an example. You can choose any of these book covers. You don't have to have read it. Um, it might be more fun if you've read it. It might be easier to do the first question. But uh, you can just do like I did. I hadn't read this story. And I was able to figure out um, at least a few choices as, an, as the author and a few choices as the artist. Okay, so that is your assignment. Let me know if you have any questions and enjoy analyzing some cool book covers.